Edutipped. Okay, a Edutips, uh, Tech Edutips video. So I created an, uh, well, I had an account here on canvas.instructure.com, which is a free site you can use to create your own courses in Canvas. Not sure what the limits are. I've used it for a bunch of tests. Um, I use my institutional account for my main uh, Canvas courses, but it allows me to make a test and just set things up for showing you some demos. So I created a, a course, Tech Edu Tips, and what I did was I populated it with some students. Um, I have my own domain, so I just created an email for Billy, Bobby, and Bo. And uh, these are characters taken from our friend Jonathan uh, Thomas Palmer. You can see the information here on about. So uh, Jonathan makes excellent videos. Good friend. I have a uh, interview of him on my podcast, uh, Ask the Flip Learning Network. So Billy, Bobby, and Bo are his students, which are, well, him. And you can see how he makes uh, his videos. They're really amazing. And so this is just a shout out and uh, great work that Jonathan does with his videos. So I got Billy, Bobby, and Bo set up. I go to the assignment section in my course, and this is where we're going to lay out the design. You need to lay out what is the different weights for different buckets of your course. So if you've got an assignments, quizzes, project, exam, a very classic one, um, you'll note that my exam doesn't have a heavy weight. We can discuss that in, in pedagogy in other times or just not having exams, but that's not what we're showing today. This is a classic layout. So some of you might have this kind of layout, 50% for assignment, 20% for quizzes, 15% for the project, 15% for the exam. You might want a different weight. That's fine. We can go here and we can change the weights. It'll show you what the total is. Again, you can have uh, buckets or categories that aren't used in the weighting scheme just for other things. Your choice, how you organize uh, your different assignments. So this is including anything that is gradable. So it could be an assignment that's handed in, it could be a quiz, it could be um, what is uh, graded forum discussions in Canvas, anything that can have a grade in it, you, will, you can stick in the right buckets here inside of the area of assignments. Now what happens here is now that we've put these percentages here, there's other changes we can do, but I don't wanna go into the details here. Let's go to grades. So this is the grades view of the, of the teacher. So you'll notice that everything that has a value that's over there in the assignment section gets dropped in here. And then the categories are on the right and the total on the far right. Now, for example, Billy has full marks on each of these assignments. These are weighted, okay? So he's got all marks. So he's got 100% on assignments, obviously. He's got 100% on the final right now because it's not considering the other sections because there's nothing there. You can make changes about that, but I don't want to go into those details right now. But this is weighted. So for example, if uh, Billy got zero on assignment three, then he's going to drop down to 50% in that category because it's weighted based on the weight of each of the. Okay, there's other stuff you can do here. We can click on this little pop-up. We can change the grade. We can change the status. And you can actually change the status colors and stuff. And you can leave a comment in this section, or you could leave a comment by going to the speed grader section. We're not going to talk about speed grader here. Just basically talking about the general view of gradebook. Um, so that's all I want to show right now. I probably will do a longer um, series length on this with different ideas of how to use the gradebook, how do I do grading, um, and I see if that helps you. Um, I would like if you could subscribe. Uh, that'll put me in your feed and you'll see things that helps me out. Um, and more importantly, if you want to be alerted if there's a video, hit that bell. But I think the most important thing is drop a comment down there in the video in the, in the video comments. This was useful for you if you got suggestions, especially um, if you have suggestions for other videos I could do. Um, any feedback is great. Uh, hopefully the sound is good. I'm not blowing other people's ears out with the... Uh, with the sound quality or the sound levels just give me any feedback you can and i'm happy to make more and more videos for all of you so thanks have a good week have a good evening and morning whatever time it is that you're watching this and uh, keep doing great work